Hey guys, welcome back to Welinski Gaming. So today I'm going to talk about Genshin's impact character list and tips on how to level your characters for you F2P players out there. Currently Genshin Impact has over 23 characters that you can obtain where 4 or 5 you can freely obtain it by following the in-game storyline and quests. This tier list that you see is by no means is fixed. It's constantly changing. You can easily say that Mona, Zhao, Klee, King is S tier also. You can say Noel is B, A or even S. It, it really depends guys. This is just a general overview of the character tiers. And besides for F2P players, you might be in a situation where you don't even have any character in the S or A tier and you're relying on a B or a C or a D tier and you gotta work with what you have. So here's my situation. I've been playing Genshin Impact for close to two weeks. I've reached AR34, I've obtained 11 characters and what I can tell you is I don't have any 5 star character but so far I've survived. So far I can pass any domains, any bosses, any quests. Probably the only challenge I currently facing is going through the higher level of the Spiral Abyss. That's where I have to start tweaking things, upgrading my artifacts, start experimenting with new characters. But beside that, the rest of the game, I have no issues with my current roster and none of them are 5 stars. My current roster consists of just 5 characters. I have a Pyro on Jiangling. I have a Fischl on El uh, Electro. I got a Barbara on Hydro, but Barbara, I use it mostly as healer. And also I've equipped this weapon for Barbara. So basically when the next character that I switch after Barbara will have their attack increased by 48%. And that's where I have Noel, my DPS. So normally my battle progression will be Hop Jiangling, get her skill out, move to Fischl, get her skill out, Barbara, and then Noel and I, I just start hitting with Noel. I just rinse and repeat. Another point that I want to touch in regards to the, the characters in Genshin Impact is understanding their talent. This is just a classic example. Barbara is known to be a healer. You definitely do not want to put artifacts that increases attack. If you see the talent, she actually, all of her skills scale with her max HP. So you want artifacts that give stats that boost her HP and that's where she will be more effective. And also another thing is understanding the role of each of the characters. So for example, if you're using Zhangling as a support and you're just there to pop her panda, you don't want to focus her artifacts too much on attack bonus. I mean attack bonus is nice, don't get me wrong, but there are other artifacts that perhaps increases elemental mastery, that increases elemental damage, that is more beneficial when the panda is just attacking and she's not in the picture, right? Because you're probably using other characters to click attack. And also take time to understand the piece set artifact bonus that you can get because it will definitely boost the performance of the entire party. And the last point that I want to touch in this video is in regards to the leveling mechanism of your characters in Genshin Impact. So unlike most games where you pretty much level up your character through grinding creeps, monster, or dungeon, it's a bit different. In Genshin Impact, you rely mostly on this experiences card that you get mainly from opening chests that spawns throughout the open world. So remember, especially if you're new in this game or if you are still in the early stage of this game, if you see a chest, open it right away. You want to open the chest right away because it will take time for the chest to respawn. And trust me guys, you will need this experiences card because you might see the number that I have in my screen. You, you might think it's a lot, but trust me, it's not. All of this will be will just be enough to level up a new character from 1 all the way to 80. And guys, it's not like I'm leveling any other characters. You know, I'm just leveling mainly like 5 of these characters. And the rest, I barely level them up. You know, and I've been playing this for 2 weeks, almost 2 weeks. And then I'm in AR34. And I've scoured the entire open world map for the chest. I've opened it all and this is what I have left over. So do not make the classic mistakes of trying to level all the characters that you have. Yes, in the beginning it might feel easy, but trust me, later on when the resources are scarce, you will feel the pinch. So just focus on a few characters guys. And this is just to give you a rough idea how much you need to level your characters. So in summary, you will need 4.9 million experiences to level a hero from level 1 to all the way till 80. 243 heroes with. Well, I got 234 but 
and I got a bunch of um, adventures card here to cover the slack so I'm pretty sure I got enough to level a character from level 1 till 80 and then I'll be scraping the barrel all right happy gaming guys that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video